Hi, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to be deriving the least squares estimates or estimators of for alpha hat and beta hat using our two first order conditions, which we, which we derived two videos ago. The first of these first order conditions is obtained by differentiating S with respect to alpha hat, and that yields minus two times the sum from i equals one to n of yi minus alpha hat minus beta hat xi is equal to zero. So that's the first of our first order conditions. And the second one is minus two times the sum of i equals one to n of xi times yi minus oh, sorry, alpha hat minus beta hat xi equal to zero. So that's the second of our first order conditions. Um, in both of these first order conditions, I've got a minus two out the front, and that's not gonna affect anything. I can just divide three by minus two because I've got zero on the other side. So I really only need to think about this sort of, this half onwards of these two first order conditions. So using the first first order condition, and um, that means that because it's a linear sum, I can just take the alpha hat and beta, uh, beta hat component over to the other side. So I'm taking these two things over here. So that means that I've got the sum of yi is gonna be equal to the sum or alpha hat times the sum of i equals one to n of one plus beta hat times the sum of i equals one to n of xi. And I've taken both alpha hat and beta hat outside of the summation because there's no index of summation there. I can use um, these relationships which I found in the previous video to simplify this expression which I've got from the first, first order condition. So this left hand side, the sum of yi just becomes n y bar. So n y bar is equal to, well, alpha hat times the sum of one n times, which is just n, plus beta hat times n x bar, where I've used the, this sort of top expression here to simplify the second term. Well, on both sides of this expression, I have n, so and, and in each of the terms I have n, so I can just get rid of this n, I can cancel it. So I've just got the alpha hat, oh, sorry, y bar is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat times x bar. Well, this looks kind of similar to our regression line, which we were trying to derive, right? So our fitted values of y, or our, our, our model, or our line predicted values of y, is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat times xi. This looks pretty similar to this relationship, except instead of my yi hat and xi, I have y bar and x bar respectively. Well, what does that tell us? Well, you might well have guessed. It means that if I am fitting a line of best fit using the least squares criteria, to a set of data. So perhaps I have a data set which looks something like this. It could be a population, it could be a sample. And if I use the least squared criteria to choose alpha hat and beta hat, well, it tells me that our line of best fit is going to go through y bar and x bar. It's gonna go through the sample means of both x bar and y bar. So this expression here is part of the way to deriving the least squares estimators, alpha hat and beta hat, we're going to need to use this second first order conditions to get alpha hat and beta hat explicitly. And we're gonna do that in the next video. I'll see you then.